All right, what is going on guys? It's Noah here with Custom RT Mods. Welcome back to a new video. And in today's episode, as you can see, we have the FT Bloody Baron here on the bench. I'm giving it a decent power upgrade and we are already running this nice Sunny Sky 2216-81250 KV motor. I've had excellent luck with it. However, I've gotten the opportunity to switch this thing over to the FT Explorer for even more power for FPV and other things with that larger plane. So we're gonna be putting an even bigger motor on the Bloody Baron. You guys might be thinking, putting a huge motor on this is just stupid I mean the wingspan is really small um, so pushing like a 12 or 13 inch prop is gonna have a lot of torque and yes I agree with you however um, I obviously can't put this on the Explorer it's just a little bit too big and I have a limited prop size this is made to spin uh, 12 to 14 inch prop on here so I got some more on order um, but for anyway um, at the moment the sunny sky is having some trouble some power sag um, pushing this really big 11 by 7 prop um, this is more made to push um, the 9 and 10 inch props on this thing uh, let alone 11 with the 7 um, spec pitch on there so so yeah, you can see also um, my motor plate is kind of coming apart, so I'm going to replace the firewall on this. Um, but I also am going to be using a 40 amp receiver with this, or ESC with this thing, because it's obviously really important that we have the correct current draw with this bigger motor. It's going to take more current. I've got some bigger batteries coming as well. So hopefully we'll be able to get up into the 80s and 90s with this thing more respectively uh, as we are going uh, with the Milan M3 tracker in more videos. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and start filming this video now so I can get the Explore um, all put back together um, and then we'll get the ESC when I reinstall it and finish it up tomorrow. So yeah, um, thank you guys so much for sticking around for this upgrade. Let's go ahead and take this thing off and get to that now. All right, guys, so we are here. It is the next day with the Bloody Baron. You can see it's been completely gutted, and my Explorer video is already up of uh, reinstalling that, but I've got my ESC in here. This is the Skywalker 40 amp from Hobby Wing, and these are really nice, uh, inexpensive ESCs, but obviously this is a 40 amp, so it's better for this larger 3536 motor. And we got all the bullets connected. I've already soldered on an XT60 on at the end, obviously my connector of choice. Um, so we're all good to go, test my motor direction, and we can get this thing installed. Gotta cut out a firewall, um, then obviously mount the motor, get the ESC situated through uh, the fuselage, and then we'll be good to go. So yeah, stay tuned for that in this time lapse, and I'll catch you guys when it's done. All right, guys, so I just finished up the upgrade for the FT Bloody Baron. You can see it's got that huge motor right there, and I just can't help but smile when I look at this thing because, seriously, this is something else just to look at, and it's just way out of place on here. Um, it's probably even too big for, like, the FT Mustang or the Bushwhacker, but no, we got it on here, and this thing is looking good. So I'm really happy to get this thing um, done and hopefully to get it up in the skies without incident. Um, we've got, of course, the four cell mounted underneath. I'm going straight to the four cell battery, not even gonna mess with three cell because obviously the name of the game here is speed and speed is what I want. So that's why we got this thing on here. Um, we mounted up an 11 by seven prop on here as well. Uh, same one as before. I just had to go ahead and bore out the inside a little bit just so it didn't fit on the shaft. And that's saying something about the props that this motor is designed to run with so yeah I'm hoping to get like a 12 inch prop if this all goes well and my motor temps are good um, I also have to check my ESC temps because this is only a 40 amp ESC and as you get going bigger and bigger you might want to go up to a 50 amp uh, so I might have to do some modifications a little bit later down the road as well um, if to accommodate for that system so yeah um, that's pretty much it for this video guys I hope you guys enjoyed oh wait 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 you guys wanted a power test okay we can do that <laughs> This thing has got some serious power underneath it and I can't wait to get it up in there because this thing is going to be a rocket. I got to make sure there's nobody around me because if anything goes wrong here, it's going to be seriously, you know, it could be an actual problem. So yeah, um, I'm a little bit worried about this thing. I think there's a lot of torque roll action going on, but I think it's going to fly well. Stay tuned for the next video to see how this thing goes. Again, 4 cell with this 11x7 DYS 3536 on the Bloody Baron. I'm actually going to go ahead and throw my tracker on there again just to see how it performs um, in terms of speed, but it's going to be crazy. Anyway, thanks guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoy the video, and please go ahead and like and subscribe if you haven't already. It really means a lot to me. I'll catch you guys in the next one.